Hello. So, this is it. This match was insane. <laughs> so, what we have is UBL Season 3 semi-finals. Our opponent, Drayden. Drayden was our first of two losses in the regular season. And that was the loss that shook me to my core. For those who don't remember, basically since the match with Drayden, there was just a period of like three weeks where I just couldn't like, I couldn't make teams. Like my loss with Drayden basically just shook me to like endlessly. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Um... And now we have to play them again for semi-finals. To say I was going into this terrified in an understatement. Because while their team doesn't look scary on paper, they, they were able to, throughout the season, use it in a very versatile way and not focus on any one particular mode. Which really made it hard to prep for. Um, they've got, obviously they've got Rain, they've got a Moongus, which is always a pain to deal with. They've got Lele, you've got, just got to respect, for sure. Uh, we thankfully do have a Moltres that can deal with it. Um, last time Center Scorch super threw me off. Uh, Hydreigon's not easy to deal with, Heracross not easy to deal with. Just, like, a lot of strong, powerful physical attackers. I'm, there's no knowing what they're gonna max. Last time I think they maxed a Center Scorch. So, yeah. Um, I was terrified going to this. There was a bit of a break, I believe, between matches. Um, oh, it was just a week. I thought it was a li little bit longer than that. But, like, as soon as I knew I was playing Drayden, I was terrified. I was just like, this is... this is. I want to make finals. I want to give this the best shot I have. Um... So, yeah, um, I want, uh, I really want to get this win, and, yeah, it wasn't going to be easy. Um, I knew I had to put for a lot of different stuff, um, and I used, to, I just went in and I just gave it my best shot. So, the team we ended up bringing, Colossal, Outspeeds, uh, Dreadnought and Sun, uh, Meteor Beam, Heatwave, Solar Beam, Protect, uh, very standard colossal. I believe I was focusing more on colossal this game. That is my my that is my gut instinct. My gut instinct was like, this is playoffs. Let's go with one of my strongest, if not my strongest mod. So yeah, we've got the we've got the coal. Um, then D knight. Um, very fast. Uh, bulky support. Um, aqua jet break his white icing and door wing beat. Uh, thinking about what the dual wing beat would be for, um, I assume Heracross, maybe Center Scorch? I don't think Center Scorch, Center Scorch is a lot bulkier than I, than I gave it credit for, but probably Heracross, an Icy Wind will slow down some of the faster threats, um, like Hydreigon, um, even Archeops, Lele, there's a few, like, things that are just, like, just out of my speed range that, like, I want to be able to slow down. It's just nice to have. Obviously, Breaking Swipe, I did talk about a lot of their powerful physical attackers. Uh, I didn't even mention Dreadnought and all that, you know, alongside the... To I was going to say Togedomaru, but, you know, uh, like... Heracross and Archeops and Dewblade. There's a lot of powerful, threatening physical attackers. I've got the goggles because we have to. There's a, a Moongus, so yeah. Dusnor, uh, we are Culber. Why are we Culber? Uh, Hydreigon? This looks to be Hydreigon. Uh, it probably also can actually take a... It might be able to take a Crunch from Dreadnought with the Culber. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think Tentacles gets lashed out too, so can take a hit from that. Um, I think I still wanted to focus... I wanted to see if I could get an Escab late game if possible. Um, was my thought process. Um... Because Escav, if, you know, Center Scorch or, you know, their fire coverage is down, we can do a lot of work with. And we've got the Alice Switch there because just throwing them off in any way I can is going to be nice. Um, 
We got Escav. Um, I'm going to guess it's the same spread as I brought before because it looks very similar. Uh, but we actually have the Ockerberry. I don't want to mess around. Actually, I think this is to take a fire. I don't know if it's max fire move, but definitely like a fire move from uh, Center Scorch. Um, so, yeah. Mega Horn, Iron Head, Close Combat Protect. Um, I don't know. Why is it Close Combat? Probably Dreadnought? Dreadnought is good for Pilot Swine. It's good for Togedemaru, actually. Good for High Dragon. That's probably one of the main ones. Um, actually, I've got Mega Horn for High Dragon, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, Close Combat probably just... Yeah, it's just good coverage. I don't think it, like, ground doesn't look that helpful other than Dread nor Dewblade. So, yeah. Um, if I can get Escav in the late game, it's really good. And also, it's good against the Moonbus, so. Next up, Life Orb Verizion. Um, we've actually got Grassy Glide over, like, anything else. Because I can see myself just, like, if I do max this, then, like, sending, like, getting glides out of max is quite nice. Um... Outspeeds Hydreigon. Um, and actually can do a lot of work in this matchup. If I see them going with more of a rain route, then this could work. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just have to make sure that, you know, I can live. And then last but not least, uh, AV Swampert. Um, Expert Belt hits damage numbers that I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head. But, you know, High Horsepower, Super Power, Liquidation, and Protect. Doing a lot of damage. Um... Not sure why the speed is there, honestly. I couldn't tell you. Um, can have a quick look. Pilot Swine? Oh, it's to, is it to outspeed? No. It might be to outspeed. Yeah, it's outspeed, uh, no speed Pelipper. That's what it is. So, yeah. Um, like, no invested speed Pelipper. So, like, max HP Pelipper. Or, like, a super bulky one. Um, just in case. Um, just so I can, you know, deal hits before uh, the Pelipper attacks. So yeah, as I said, going into this match, I was terrified. Like, 1,000% terrified. And I was just like, I want to win this. But let's see what happens. So, going to game one, and we see the team. Uh, we see no Pelipper. Um, which is kind of a relief. Um, it means I don't have to worry about rain. There's no Togo tomorrow. I believe they brought Togo tomorrow last time. Uh, they didn't actually have Heracross last time, I, did, I believe. Um, so yeah. Uh, and yeah, I've, and no Archeops as well, which is quite nice. So, definitely some things I'm going to worry about. I didn't bring Moltres, so my access to Lele are a little limited. So yeah, let's just see. Again, I don't remember a lot about these three matches, but I just know I was terrified. <laughs> um, so I lead... I lead for Colossal. Um, I think Colossal was kind of my main focus here. Um, they maxed Hydreigon immediately, and that was not the max target I was expecting. They led Dreadnought, and I'm like, they're going to max their water type. It's Colossal. You match your water type, right? They maxed the Hydreigon. So I Aquajet, um, get my speed, get my special attack, uh, go for the Overgrowth into the Dreadnought. They eat the Rindo, but I still take it out, thankfully, and they geyser me immediately. Not what I expected to happen. That'll be another reason why I wanted Verizion, actually. Uh, with Grassy Glide. Um, not what I expected to happen, and now they've got a max Hydreigon. And I don't have a max. So they go to Lele, they overwrite the terrain as they go into Verizion. I just switch into Escav just to see if I can get something off. They go for a Moonblast as they try to take it out, and they also Worm win that slot as well. I didn't expect him to doors that slot. I thought they would just throw in like a Moonblast or a Wormwind. Not both. And that really just ruins my Escav for the rest of the game. Uh, they Moonblast the other slot now as they go for... A, they just double. Like they try and scout for Protect and yeah. So I just like my Escav doesn't do anything at this point. Um, hey Moonblast, don't take it out. I believe this is Scarf Lele. We close combat, get to take out the Hydreigon, which is really, really nice. And then Iron Head. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is doable. What's their last? And it's Center Scorch. And I'm like, great. I can do this. I miss. That killed me on the inside. I was like, this is it. I can kill the Center Scorch. I've got Stone Edge. And I missed the Stone Edge. My heart sank when I saw that. And obviously then Fire Lash comes out. I die. And then... 
you know, Escav can't do enough because it's got no moves to hit Center Scorch. That murdered me on the inside. I was like, I had the game. It was right there. I had the stone edge for the, the Ascent Scorch. I was ready. And in my face, the stone edge misses. And I'm like, no, you cannot do this to me, game. So uh, we end up losing game one on a stone edge miss. I eat the Ocker, but it's not enough. And we go down. My head was in my hands. <laughs> my heart was out of my chest, my head in my hands, and I was just like, no. No, no, no. I had to maintain composure. Maintain composure, and it was going to be rough from here on out. I played... I got a turn one that I didn't expect. I somehow brought it back. Just because Verizion put in so much damage late game. Which was really a surprise. Um, but like close combat and Stone Edge kind of did a lot to the rest of their team. But it was going to be rough. So game two. Um, see what I lead. I think I lead the same. Unite Colossal, and they lead a Moongus Hydreigon. I think that they're like, they're like, okay, well, you want to go for uh, Aqua Jet, but I've got the safety goggles, so I know I'm safe. I don't actually have to worry about some Moongus at all, uh, unless I just don't want my Colossal to go to sleep, but I know I'm safe at going for this Hydreigon. Um, but I'm just going to switch out into Dust Knoll. We find a Black Sludge, and we find a Specs, and they're still maxing it, even with Specs. So they're like ready to play it in and out of Max, but finding that is really, really nice. So they go for the Rage Powder, uh, Max Geyser, try and go for it, uh, go for Colossal, but I'm not letting it happen. Um, I'm just trying to take out a Moongus, and also trying to stall out this Max. Um, so they switch into Dreadnought, which now they've got the range set up, and I go for the Ally Switch. So, really nice, I go for the Dual Wing Beat as they switch into Dreadnought, so I'm not going to do anything there, but now they've got to at least worry about Ally Switch. I go into Escav. They go for a Rock Slide, miss the Escav, and take out Dusnor. Um, kind of unfortunate, because I think... I, my guess was I was going for Trick Room, but we stalled out their Max. And that was what was, I think, really important here. Sure, like, I've kind of still got my option to uh, Max Escav. Uh, we've seen three of their Pokemon. But there's no guarantee we know what's in the back, because it could be... Like, all three options left could come. Because they're all, like, good in and out of Max. <laughs> So we go to Colossal. I just protect here just to try and stall a turn. Um, and they just double the Colossal, which is really, really nice for me. And I miss a Mega Horn. I think I was about to throw up at this point. <laughs> I was like, that was it. I got the perfect turn. I saved my Colossal. This was it. And then I missed a Mega Horn. So I missed a Stone Edge in game one to lose me the game. And now he's about to miss a Mega Horn and lose game two for it. I was like, you cannot be just serious. This this is how I'm going to go out. So I switched to d Knight because I'm like, I've got to save Cole for the late game. So they Liquidation and they Dark Pulse. Uh, they hit Dark Pulse the Escav though. And I actually get the Mega Horn off and take it out. My Escav is still bulky enough to take that Dark Pulse. So I was like, oh my goodness, I dragged him down. But they've still got a Dreadnought in. And I've still got to somehow get my... Colossal in next to my D Knight and win the game that way. So Rain goes away and we see it at last of Lele. So they Moonblast the Escav. I'm like, cool, that's fine. As long as D Knight lives here, we should be fine. So we go for the Breaking Swipe. We're faster. And we They go for the Ice Fang and we live just barely. That speed and that uh, bulk all paid off exactly right there because if I wasn't faster than the Dreadnought I wasn't going to break and swipe it and I wasn't going to take and I wasn't going to live that Ice Fang and that live is going to keep me in this game so we're going to like Max Colossal it's finally time late game Colossal go for the Steam Engine go for the Weakness Policy and I'm going to guess we're going straight for that Dreadnought yep we also take out the Psychic Terrain from Lele which is really nice but they are I believe Scarf into Moot Blast at this point um and at this point, it's Scarf Lele with into Moonblast and a Moongus, which can't do anything other than put me to sleep. But we take it out before it can do anything. Go for a Moonblast. Um, honestly, I was expecting a drop at that point. But because of that live, we are still in this. So we win game two. 
even after missing a Mega Horn, and I was in shock. <laughs> I was, I, I definitely popped off. I was like, we played that to the best we could. So I was super, super happy. We switched around well. I uh, kept our pieces to the late game. I honestly am impressed I managed to keep composure um, and actually pull out that win. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and then game three. The final game. They lead Hydreigon and Dreadnought, and I lead Colossal and D-Knight. Seeing this lead is just terrifying, because it's like, what are they going to max? So I'm just like, they max Hydreigon, I max Colossal, and I Aquajet myself. I'm honestly scared to see what I do here. And I go for the Vocalist into Hydreigon, and they kill my Colossal, because I didn't expect them to max it that time. I thought I threw the game. Honestly, I probably did. So, Verizion comes in. They've got Rain up. So, D-Knight goes down. But Verizion is still alive. And I flinch. And I get worm-winded. Ow! Because my guess is that's a dead Hydreigon. I probably wasn't going for Dreadnought because I knew it had Verindo. That was a dead Hydreigon. Um, and now I'm worm-winded. So, yeah. I protect Verizion because I'm expecting at least one move to go into there. Um, and they max Flare the Eskar, but because of Rain and because of the Ocker, it doesn't actually do that much. And we close combat and almost take out the Dreadnought. And because they max Flared, there's no more Rain. Which means Verizion is faster than the Dreadnought. We can go for the close combat there. Uh, take it out. They go for a liquidation. Escav is going to live and we're going to Iron Head. It's now 3v2. It's now 2v2 and I'm like, this is my last stand. I've got low HP Verizion, low HP Escav. And, I, and they've got a Moongus and a Heracross. I'm like, I don't think I've got enough damage to beat this Heracross. But there's one crucial thing. Is that neither of my Pokemon care about a Moongus one bit. So they go for the Rage Powder, I go for a Stone Age and miss, and I lose my Verizion. I'm like, no, you cannot be serious. And then we take out the the Heracross. I lost my mind. I cannot underestimate, like, cannot undervalue you or undersell that I lost my mind on that turn. I saw the Stone Age miss, I thought it was over. And then I saw the Iron Head Oko, and I just lost it. I was around the room, <laughs> up in arms. I was like, this, this is it. This is my chance. There's no way a Moongus can 1v1 with. There's no way. So they go for a Spore, and because, there's because I've got Overcoat, I do 67%. And they've got nothing for me. They've got a Giga Drain that does 11%. So even if they've gone for Giga Drain before, that was it. And I won in top four. And I was around my room screaming. <laughs> um, it was super GG's to Drayden. Um, it was such an insane set. I got so unlucky. And I was like... And in my mind, I was like... I kept missing and I kept missing. And I was like, this one move could have hit. And the flinch on Verizion and everything. And I was in my, my heart. My heart was in and out of my chest. And then that Iron Head KO'd. And I was like, oh my god, this is it. And I won. I won against a, de uh, a demon that, like, troubled me. And I didn't know what to do. And going into this match, I didn't know if I could win it. And I pulled it out. Even if the game was tried to make it so I couldn't. <laughs> um, They brought so many different options that just made it so hard to prepare for. And in the end... You know what they say, Escav is Blescav. Took it in the end, and that moves us on to finals. Uh, again, thank you for joining for the games. But please never do that to me again, where I miss two Stone Ages, miss a uh, Mega Horn, and get Rock Slide flinched. <laughs> where I feel like the game could have happened, <laughs> like could have been so much easier without those. <laughs> so. 
yeah. Um, I was... I cannot express, like, the sheer happiness. Like I say, I was around my room screaming. I just, like, put my head in my pillows and just started just screaming, Yes! Yes! I, um... I wasn't even recording for it. Um, I don't even have the original file. Because at this point, I would kind of, like, give it up with recording. Um, I do wish I was recording for it. But, yeah, like... My... My stress levels were off the charts, and just to pull that out, that was probably the biggest pop-off I've had in a very long time. Um, just because it was, it meant so much to win this one. Um, after getting stuck in top four in season two, getting, getting to finals for season three meant a lot. So, yeah, um, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.